Good afternoon. Welcome to those of you on the floor as well as to our live stream audience online. We're going to go over how to get noticed, get found, and get leads online in 2005. I appreciate you stopping by and engaging in a conversation that every single company in this industry needs to be having. But before I get into that, I'd like to ask you a question. How are you going to hit or exceed your growth goals for next year? Right now is the time you're starting to plan that, you're starting to think about it. The answers to that question are in this presentation. How are you going to get found? What are your client touch points? How can people find you online and offline? How are you going to capture leads from your ideal customers? And ultimately, how are you going to answer the question that every single one of your prospects is asking when you're standing in front of them? Why should I buy from you versus somebody else? What makes you unique in the marketplace? When you answer those questions to the market, they will respond by providing uh, or getting your services and products. I'd like to help set you up for a win in 2015. There are companies out right, uh, online right now that are crushing it. We're gonna peel the curtain back a little bit, show you what they're doing behind the scenes. These are things you can do yourself or you can outsource to companies like myself. Fundamentals for success. We're gonna cover some basic components all the way up to some more advanced strategies because we've got a wide selection of people in our audience. But a baseline fundamental is we're gonna cover what is Google, what does Google want, some basic components of how you wanna uh, set up your website. Then we're gonna go into the types of content that you want to produce, because everybody has to be producing content today if your goal is to be found online. I know all of you provide products and services, but you also have to set up a division in your company that is a publishing company. That is how you're going to get noticed today is by producing content. So we're going to cover the two major uh, styles of content you're going to produce today. Next, if you're not already here, you need to get mobile ready. I can guarantee probably 30% of your traffic to your website is either on a mobile or an iPad device. If you are not taking command of that user experience on their mobile device, you're going to be behind the times because that number is just going to continue to grow. You have to have a mobile responsive website today. Retargeting. This is a little bit more of an advanced strategy, but it the strategy is being used on you every day you shop online. I don't know if any of you have gone to Amazon or some other major site, and then you leave that site, but you see their ads everywhere. That's called retargeting. You're, you spend a lot of money to get traffic to your site. Why not spend a little more to follow them after they leave your site, to continue to offer and communicate with them, to bring them back to your site to shop or engage with your company. And lastly, Every single one of you needs to set up a content distribution network. You sell products and services, but you also need to own your distribution channel of where you create this. You're going to create content. Where do you put it? You want to be creating your own channels that are used as your broad, uh, broadcasting platform to articulate why somebody should buy from you and what are the value adds of your products and services. A little bit about my experience. I've spent 18 years in this industry. Ever since I left college, I've been helping janitorial supply distributors across the country help grow their sales, either as a region manager for an equipment company or through access. The concept has been the same from the day I left college. How do we, we walk into a distributor or as a manufacturer, how do we grow our sales? The answer to that question lies in this presentation about what the next phase is to take your growth to the next level. I'm not going to stand up here and say online is the only way that you're going to grow. It's part of the equation. You're still going to have hand-to-hand -hand selling process uh, in your component. This has got to be a complementary com uh, portion of your game plan. Every time I went out on a uh, cold call with a rep and we dropped off bro uh, brochures at a, market, uh, a particular market, I walked out of that door saying, there has got to be a better way than this. And after 10,000 cold calls, I really feel getting in front of the problem rather than always coming in behind is the answer. When somebody has a problem today, 
or they need an answer to a question, they're going to go online and they're going to look. That's where you want to be. Most of the time, a buyer is 70% through their buying process before they ever invite a vendor in. So they're consuming this content online, and that's where you want to be. Access was created to help janitorial supply distributors, manufacturers, and contract cleaners get more visibility online. How do we package your go-to-market strategy in a video or a blog post and articulate your selling message online? Because I know a lot of you are great at face-to-face -face selling and communicating your message. Well, how do we transform that into a video or a blog post or a press release so now your message can go farther and you can leverage it? That's what all this is about. That's why we created Access. Our entire team is dedicated to helping you go to the next level. Everybody has a different starting point here. Some of you are more advanced than others, but there's always a next level. What's the next level to take your company to get more visibility, more engagement, and ultimately more leads and sales? These companies are your business partners. This is where people are spending time online. Even though you may not engage with them personally, your customers are. So if this is where people are spending time online, you want to take your business and run it through these platforms. How do you show up? Are you automatically on there and they have you miscategorized? Have you went in and claimed your account? This is where you want to go and engage your prospects. Start a conversation. Utilize these platforms to then invite them back to your website. This is where you're going to go out and engage and bring people back in. Because if you're just going to go cold and not uh, engage in these platforms, it's going to be very difficult and very costly for you to bring traffic to your site. What is in a search result? I thought I'd break down the fundamentals. You're looking at a, a search result here. This is your atypical result. You take a primary keyword phrase that you're trying to rank for. This is what it's going to look like. Right up on the top and on the right, you've got your pay-per-click ads. I think we're all familiar with them, that people are paying to be in those spots. They're paying anywhere from $1 to $8. Once one of us clicks on that, the sponsor of that ad pays. Okay? Underneath the pay-per-click ads is your organic section. Where you have a physical building, you have an opportunity to rank in local maps. Okay? What Google and Bing are going to do is they're going to rank in order the most relevant business they feel is associated to that keyword phrase. So for example, carpet cleaning Memphis. Okay? They're going to rank companies based off that keyword phrase. Or use floor scrubbers Los Angeles. Who's going to populate? Janitorial Supplies Cleveland. Google and Bing are going to try to provide that, that user with a local company to give the local company a, an opportunity to get that visibility. And how you rank higher is basically the same on how you rank higher organically. And we'll get into that in a little bit. But when you look at the, the paid section, what you want to do is go online. Pretend you are your own prospect. How would you search for a company like yourself? See who you're competing with. More and more today, people are going to the e-commerce model, so local facilities are competing with so many national companies on the paid side, and it's, it's highly competitive. So this is why it's even more important to really know why somebody should buy from you, what your unique selling proposition is, because you're having nothing but more and more competition day in and day out. So this is where people can come in and, and, and populate ads in your area. Underneath, you've got your local maps. How you, the local maps break out is, like I just mentioned, where you've got a physical building, they're going to rank the most relevant. Okay? The all-important Google Plus page. Google already has your business indexed and in their directory. If you haven't gone in and claimed, branded, and optimized that, they could have you miscategorized. You could be a supply distributor, but they have you listed as a as a service contractor. So that's where you have to go in and claim all these accounts. So you send a universal message out there, but the first place you start is your Google Plus page, and you go in and claim and brand and optimize 
especially across all the other channels as well, but this is one of your signature channels that you want to claim and optimize and brand for your business. There's a new layout. This is where you can provide mobile coupons. This is where you try to get that local feel with your conversation. The local maps also becomes your reputation management center. If somebody either does a Google review or a Yelp review or any other review, it's most likely going to get tagged to your local maps. So that's really where you want to be able to keep your finger on the pulse. And if you've got your account claimed and optimized, you can perhaps even respond to that. If somebody gave you a negative review, you could respond to them and have an opportunity to win them back over. And that's all documented so you can re-engage and actually show success stories based off these reviews. Maybe I should point here. Your 10 organic listings. We've gone through the paid section your, or local map section. Now your 10 organic links underneath there. A lot of people think, well, these are just your traditional websites, but that's not true. These listings are directory listings. They could be videos, they could be blog posts, they could be the home page. It could be a variety of things that's listed in that top 10. All the more reason why you want to have a variety of styles of content, because whatever Google cha when changes their algorithm, you can have another vehicle that can populate if they decide to switch the flavor, because they're always changing their algorithm to best serve their customer, which are the people searching. So let's cover, what does Google want? I mean, that's ultimately what everybody wants to know, because Google has roughly 60 to 70% of the search engine market. So if you want to get more visibility online, you have to look at your business through the eyes of Google to determine, OK, how can I better position myself? Google wants fresh, relevant, high quality, original content that they can deliver to their search customers. Okay? We covered this. Content is more than just a website. It's videos. It's your directory listings, reviews. Anything and everything that's published online can be utilized as a resource to rank higher, especially if you've got keywords uh, loaded inside there. Okay? The next thing Google looks at is as a way to gauge what the important content is, is how many backlinks or how many times is this content being shared through the relevant social media channels or other uh, media outlets. And that's how they gauge how imp important the content is and how high it ranks. Okay, so they look at backlinks. A backlink is sort of like a vote of confidence. This content is about this keyword phrase, and that's how they start to gauge. It's about a 10,000 foot view on an on a, on a algorithm from Google that is not public. So you use your best case scenario publish good content, you share it through your distribution channel, people are engaging with it, that's how they know, okay, we're gonna rank that higher in the search engine, okay? Google is really trying to force people into their paid platform. They're giving it the best real estate, you really wanna make sure a portion of your budget is in the paid component. And obviously, the more sophisticated you get, you wanna get laser targeted, because otherwise you could spend a lot of money on pay-per-click and not get an ROI. That's why you need to have a, a comprehensive plan with your paid program. You're going to get the best real estate. So I was always a, I was the last one to promote pay-per-click because it's just the, the cost. But they're giving the best real estate to the paid. So you want to have a portion of your budget in the paid section. Okay. When you are trying to rank a specific page on your website and you're using that as that URL, I want to rank high for a specific keyword phrase, make sure you are utilizing unique content. Do not just take the content from the manufacturer, put it on your website, and use that same content that everybody else has copied over and try to use that as a target page. You get rewarded by using fresh, relevant, original content. So use that baseline, reword it in your own wording if that is a target page that you want to rank higher for. I know in, ter in terms of the catalogs, no, that's not really feasible to change all the copy. So just make sure your target pages have unique content because Google rewards original content writers. The duplicate content just falls further down the page and you don't get the visibility that you're, I know that you guys are looking for. I figured throughout the presentation, you, there may be a few do-it-yourselfers here. I would offer some tips on if you want to do it yourself. These are some of the things that my team and I have found because we're always doing audits on companies in this industry and we're seeing what's, what people are not doing or what they should be doing and providing uh, advice based off that information. Every single one of you need to have Google Analytics installed on your site. 
even if you don't understand all the matrix and the information that's in there, because it is fairly comprehensive, at least get it in there. And so when you do work with a company that can maybe tell you what's going on or give you more information, you'll have data collected. So you'll see that, okay, I've got 500 visitors, but our bounce rate is at 80%. And this was an exact example of one of our clients. They, they had a high bounce, they had a lot of traffic, but their bounce rate was at 80%. And what a bounce rate is, is somebody lands on that home page and they leave in the first minute. So the higher that number, the worse it is. Okay, so we had to redesign their home page. So we had content channels on where to send people when they landed there, and we were able to drop their uh, bounce rate down to 40%, just on restructuring and creating sort of a highway system on that home page to direct traffic. That's ultimately what analytics can provide you when you have that data. Also, on your home page, you want to make sure you have three to 400 words of content on that page so Google knows how to index you and knows what you're about. I know in some of the areas, people just have a catalog and maybe they don't have 300 to 400 words on that page. It's hard for Google to know that you're an expert if you don't have a lot of copy. So I always, if you have a target page you're trying to rank higher, typically that's your home page. Ideally you want three to 400 words on that page and obviously have some of those keywords in there that you want to rank for included in that copy. And ideally you want to have web forms, okay? When you get traffic on the site, some of you have a newsletter, but really ideally you want some sort of web form that's gonna capture name, email, address. In order for you to get that, you're either gonna to have to give away a value added, a coupon, a report, free video, a training, or you could have a, a cool little pop-up. Something that is going to bring them in and engage. We've had clients where we were sending a tremendous amount of traffic, they were going in, but nobody was opting into our forms. All we did was created a pop-up with, a, with a, a face from somebody from the, employ, uh, the company made it all the difference in the world. Now there's that personal engagement like, oh, there's Keen. I'm gonna, oh, hey dude, I need, some, I need this. And all of a sudden now we're getting engagement and getting leads. And that's ultimately what you want to be using your website for. Content development. Blogging is going to be the easiest way for you to start producing content. It's text, it works just like a Word document, you can publish it on a WordPress, doc, uh, WordPress site or a blogger and start producing how-to content, product information. You want to start publishing information on why somebody wants to do business with you or educate them through blogs. This is the easiest way to build a relationship on how you can engage and Google loves blogs because it's fresh and it's relevant, okay? And from an SEO or visibility perspective, it's just like jet fuel. You're getting links, indexing pages, you're creating more content, you're fresh, you're relevant. You're just gonna get rewarded, but you wanna make sure you have a strategy behind it as well. How to information, product highlights. Some of you that are selling 10,000 different products, you're not short on ideas to blog about, okay? If you're in the service industry, there's always little tips and tricks that you can be offering on how to clean something or why somebody should outsource their cleaning to you. If you're a manufacturer, there's always different things that you can be blogging about or creating content on your products that your distributors can then utilize, okay? The, the, the companies that are just crushing it, they're creating content, if it's a manufacturer, they're creating good content and the distributors are utilizing that content to help sell more of their products. Okay? The service industry, the ones that are getting the leads, are, they're, they're everywhere. Everywhere somebody goes, you're seeing either ads or they're in direct mail pieces, but the, the key is, is they're spreading their message everywhere and that's ultimately what you want to do. Blogging is the easiest way to do that. My favorite form of content is video. Your conversion rates on video are way higher than any text messaging because, face it, most of us would rather watch a movie then read a book. It's the same thing with engagement on advertising. If you can have a short little one minute video about a particular keyword phrase or a particular problem, what the problem, here's a solution, you want more information, your company information. 72% of consumers are making buying decisions based off videos and there's an endless source of topics for videos. Answers the how to questions, product information, how to, 
or gold, the testimonials. If you can get your customers on camera articulating, you do what you say you're going to do, you're awesome, we love these guys, your customers become your best salespeople. Because most people don't believe salespeople, but they believe the feet on the street. So the more feet on the street that you can capture, the better off you are. And then your customers become your best salespeople. Mini product, you got 10,000 products, you got 10,000 ideas to do a video. Showcase about us video. Okay, it can be done with pictures or with live feeds, services video, how-to information. Another reason why I love videos, it allows for you to have a unique looking link on the homepage of Google. Sometimes Google will take a snapshot of that video and you've got yourself your own billboard for your keyword phrase on Google, which is just gonna draw more attention and more clicks to your content, okay? Plus, since Google owns YouTube, Google tends to like to show videos in their newsfeed. Here's an example of a company video in a small town in Danville. It's 1918. Danville Paper and Supply has been a leading provider of food service supplies, janitorial chemicals, and equipment, and specialty products for customers located in eastern Illinois and western Indiana. Locally owned and operated, our team of local and knowledgeable employees are dedicated to bringing outstanding customer service on a wide range of quality products to our customers. Today, our 60,000 square foot warehouse is filled with over 3,500 different items, including many hard to find products. We consider many factors when choosing which supply products to carry, including overall reliability, the quality of the product, and the level vendor support. Our extensive range of wholesale janitorial cleaning and food service supplies includes innovative manufacturers, Rubbermaid, Amrep, 3M, Rollpack, Bay West, and Wincup. We are proud to offer the best paper products, high density trash can liners, floor pads, sustainable cleaning chemicals, floor cleaning equipment, and much more for your cleaning operation. Danville Paper and Supply is your one-stop destination for all your food service supplies and janitorial needs. To learn more about our quality products, call our team today at 217-442-0851. So short, around a minute long, long enough to articulate who they are, what they sell, how they can help you. Chase a keyword phrase with that. That ranks for their particular keyword phrase. It's an asset that they can utilize on a sales call and it stays around forever. So you can be constant, that video is constantly out there. So no matter when somebody is looking, the video can play for you. Just out of curiosity, how many of you are in a business that has multiple generations, like you're in the second generation. Okay, a few of you. All right. A hidden gem. If you're the first generation or second generation or third, start getting video of the original member or if they're, if they're still here. They're, get video footage, especially in a multi-generational uh, company. We did it on a, uh, a whim. I mean, we're, I was working with the sales manager, we're knocking out these videos, and the owner's sitting in the back, you know, uh, talking smack, and he's like, I'll, I'll, let me do one. So we, we knocked out three or four of him, just talking, standing in front of a truck and knocking it out. And he was awesome, by the way, but nonetheless, you know, a, a year later he passed away. S sad deal. But the old man lives on through those videos. It's so powerful. That's why video is huge. You can capture that, the original founding manner, you've got that passion and that heart with it, they started it, and it stays. And you can continue to see the family members on video. So just a little tidbit there for you. Here's a testimonial example. Two has been an excellent partner to the Jansen industry. 
And when you align yourself with someone and you say, okay, I'm going to commit this business to you, they also commit their time and from their rep's perspective and from the factory perspective. If you need a sample for something, it's there. If you need them to assist you with some literature development, they do that. They're a great partner. They're competitively priced. They have people available to help you do demos regardless of the time of night. We do a lot of healthcare business. So of course we end up doing a lot of nighttime demonstrations. It's one us both a lot of business. They're a true partner. Having your customers express your unique selling proposition to future prospects is so powerful. If you take away one thing, start getting testimonials. It's social proof, the whole social media boom that we're going through, the testimonial is, is the gold nugget that you want to start capturing. Here's where you can go into a more sophisticated product video. The Multitask Dilution Control System is the world's most flexible dispensing system. The secret is the patented Multitask Package that provides the ultimate in cleaning chemical dispensing versatility. The unique package allows distributors to keep inventories lean while offering their customers a broad array of dispensing options. The built-in metering tips ensure proper dilution and trouble-free dispensing. For secure dispensing, the multitask wall mount system can dispense two to four different multitask concentrates. For on-the-go dispensing, the easy fill gun allows dispensing of multitask concentrates from any cold water source. With multitask, we've designed a dilution control system for distributors with their customers in mind. The unique versatility of this package helps our dealers effectively manage inventories while at the same time giving their customers more choice in how to dispense concentrated cleaning products. So a nice little product piece right there. We combine pictures of the product, stills, video footage, some interviews, and put it all together with music, nice professional transitions, overlays, and you've got a showcase piece, an asset for your facility that can continue to work for you. From a do-it-yourself standpoint, the, the thing that I would like you to take away is pull out your phone and start taking pictures. When you're doing your demonstrations, Every single day you're doing transformations, you're doing a floor, you're cleaning a restroom, your products are doing amazing things. Take a before and after. Look at the most popular television shows today. It's all about documenting the transformation. Where they were to where they are. You can do the same thing for your business. It's the same model. You just have to engage in it. So take out your phone and start capturing images and video vignettes of before and after and any of the how-to information. Okay. Okay. Um, record video testimonials. When you're on location, you have a happy customer. You want to make sure. Why not capture that? Okay. Your customers become your best salespeople. Then take that content and ideally either somebody on your staff or outsource it to somebody who has professional video editing so you can basically take that content, dress it up, put some lipstick on it, wrap it, and then present it to your customer base. Because people can be very forgiving on if the, the camera's wobbly, but they're not forgiving on little things like adding music or transitions. That's where they start getting annoyed. So if you can put that personal touch on some baseline content, you're so much further ahead of the game and it's going to make you look more professional and build your brand strength and equity. The next important thing is to make sure you have a mobile responsive website. Okay? It's the number one configuration from Google. Google is demanding that, listen, the traffic you're getting is going mobile. You better have a mobile responsive website or we're going to penalize you and ultimately what they want is they want one URL and that URL is both mobile responsive as well as works on a desktop. What some people do because of expenses, they don't want to redo the whole website, is they build a mobile landing page that worked for the last couple of years but now if you want the best configuration you want to have a mobile responsive site all under the same URL. 
So not m.mydomain.com, okay? You have to start directing the experience on what their customers are going through on the mobile phone and on the tablet, okay? The statistics are here. 30% of the traffic has already come in mobile. Mobile is outnumbering desktop users and it's grown 400% since 2010 and it's gonna can keep growing. I mean, everybody here, we've got our mobile phones. This is what we're living our lives through. So you have to look at your website and if you have to sit there and go like this in order for somebody to read your site, it's not good. It's not giving the best experience for your clients. Here's what a website looks like on your desktop. You load it up, okay, that looks familiar. How does it look on a mobile device? Does it shape shift depending on if it's on a Blackberry or an iPad or a tablet? It, you have to be able to basically take your site and it'll reform to whatever device is being utilized. Retargeting. So here is where the visitors are coming to your site. You want to be able to still communicate with them, okay? So what happens is you send people to your site and if you're on a retargeting campaign, you basically have a cookie that gets downloaded onto their browser and that cookie gives advertising information to websites that allow advertising on them. So for example, you go to the USA Today, all of a sudden you're seeing ads for some of the companies that you just looked at. And when I say cookie, I'm not really talking about the cookie monster. You know, it's, it's a very common uh, component of people dropping in cookies. There's actually websites out there that you can go to that'll put a tracking and literally if you spend 10 minutes online searching, there's like 40 companies following you. It's, it's crazy, so why not engage the same component? Continue to get your message out there after they leave your site. Retargeting is where it's at. The bigger companies are doing it, so should you. Here's an example. I went back to my hometown to look at the news and I got a software company following me. Same thing on uh, USA Today. We were just, I was looking at a hotel, now La Quinta's following me. And this is what's kind of neat also, if you're a smaller company, all of a sudden your advertising is popping up on USA Today, it gives you that brand weight, like, whoa, these guys are big if they're on USA Today. But it's no different than if it was on a simple site, but the perception is higher value. So retargeting is really cool to have that display advertising going on. Next is really the last component, establish, claim, brand, and optimize your distribution network. You've got your signature accounts, Facebook, Google+, YouTube, Blogger, Twitter, claim, optimize brands, get your signature branded URLs, okay? Then set up additional key network accounts where you go in and claim additional places where your content to get dropped into, social media sites, social bookmark, bookmarking, additional blog sites, business directories, and the local maps listing. In terms of the, the business listings, if you want to figure out where your business is listed, just Google your business. You're going to see your business listed in all these directories. Go in, claim, and optimize them. And do it on Google, Bing, Facebook, and Foursquare. Those are the, those are the big, most popular uh, directory listings. Let's review the five to thrive, the fundamentals, analytics, content on the site, three to 400 words of content on your home page or your target pages, content development, start blogging. Ideally, start producing videos. It's the most favorable form of content that's out there. Get website or mobile responsive websites going. If you're planning a redesign, make sure uh, mobile responsive is the spec uh, for your build. Start retargeting. Some of you I know are already doing pay-per-click. Add that, to the retargeting aspect to your pay-per-click campaign. And most importantly, grab your distribution network, claim brand and optimize. It is so critical. People are spending so much time online, they can hit you know, 10 different sites in, in two minutes. So if you want that strength, that brand strength, you have to keep the same look and feel. So no matter where they're at, you have the same messaging, the same look, and that's gonna add to the strength of your brand online for your keyword phrases. And the nice thing is, is we can do all of this for you. It it's really boils down to you can do it yourself or you can hire companies like, else, like us to come out and set up your mobile website design or do the videos. I mean, a lot of people are afraid to do videos, but if it's in the right environment, videos are easy. It's all about framework and the right questions and you can get great content if you've got it set up right.
Okay? And we can do all of that for you. Video, blogging, social media, online brand, establishment, anything and everything that you're going to utilize to position yourself and to answer the question of why somebody should buy from you, and it's an online communication vehicle, we can help you guys. We get results. I mean, our clients get high rankings. We get the visibility for desired keyword phrases, both in the organic session, ex section and the uh, local maps. Here's an example where we've got the number one listing in the maps, as well as billboards and other directory listings. So in terms of visibility, we can enhance your visibility by just producing good content and sharing it in the right ways. Tracking your success, really, when you've got the analytics installed, you can start making educated decisions about what's going on, what's happening here, how can we get lower bounce rate, how can we direct people to this page because I really want to talk about this product, how do we get them there, how do we get people to opt in. Analytics is going to give you that data that you're going to need to utilize to measure your ROI and what's going on on your website. Do page views, figure out uh, in terms of what's the, the highest content pages, what pages are they going to, all of this information is in there. They have restricted some of the keyword information that they used to pass through, but there's still other ways around that and a tremendous amount of data that you can get from your website. Video views, social media impressions, you know, we can do special offers or tracking numbers, anything and everything that we can utilize to drive them down a pipeline so you know how to measure what's going on. Here's the thing that you can, that is constant. It's always changing online. Google is always changing the algorithm. There's always a fresh site. It can seem daunting. I know that with the amount of information that I've provided today, it's probably similar to taking a drink from a fire hose. But nonetheless, the most important thing here is engagement. You have to engage in this process. You cannot ignore it. If you're going to ignore it, your competitors are going to just, they're in it. They're going to utilize this. So much of a person's life is through the internet and through a mobile device. You have to figure out a way to engage with your clients. You can't sit on the sidelines, okay? Some of you may have staff that are on, uh, on the team that can help you with this. If you don't, then you want to look at, to an outsourced company like ourselves at Access. The nice thing about us is we understand the vocabulary of the industry. So you're creating with a company that understands the difference between a floor machine and a floor scrubber. And so you're able to create good content by using a collaborative effort, and people love it. The best thing that we could do for you right now, because I know some of you are dabbling in content and creating blogs and doing the videos, what people are missing out on is their content distribution network. You need to create your digital asset to where you go claim these accounts, brand, and optimize them so even when you start producing content, because maybe you're not there yet, maybe you need to figure out when, when you're going to do that, but eventually you're going to start creating content and you have to have platforms to drop it into. That's where we can come in. We'll set up these accounts for you, correct. If you've already have some of these accounts, we'll take you to the next level. There hasn't been one customer that we have talked to that we couldn't enhance their position if they've already had a Facebook page. They were missing some component. So we go in and we claim and brand your signature five, the Facebook, Google+, YouTube, Blogger, Twitter. Even if you don't participate on these, you still want to drop your blog feeds and your content through them because your customers are. So you want to go where your uh, customers are at, and these are the top five uh, platforms that are most popular. So therefore, you want to be sharing your content on there. So we go in and we claim, brand, and optimize. Every one of these has different configurations for graphics. So you want to make sure that if you're going to do it yourself, you've got a, a, a graphic design person on, te uh, on the team to be able to do this out. Or you can have us do it and, and eliminate a ton of hassle. We're going to save you over 100 hours of setting this network up and hours of frustration. But the nice thing is on our side is we're going to set it up right the first time. You'll have branded URLs. So you'll have, it won't be facebook.com forward slash blah, you know, it's going to have your company name. So you'll have nice signature branding, nice universal message across all the platforms, and that's how you create brand strength. This is what the people that are having success right now, this is what's going on behind the scenes, okay? This is how you start separating yourself from the, your competitors. Then we go in off the, the, the signature accounts, then we start dropping additional content through other social media channels, okay? 
and top sharing sites, because this is how you start to build your backlinks. You have a nice uh, blog post, you want to go and share uh, uh, to these other sites, because this is where people are spending time. And you want to make sure that your content is being shared on these popular sites. You also have additional blog sites that you can post that content to. Okay? And that's what the biggest challenge our customers are, are facing, is they, they want to do it themselves, but they're not sure where I put it. Okay? Well, you can produce your own content if you want, but we'll build you a pipeline to put it through, which is just going to save you a ton of time and energy. Then you got a nice press release account set up. And the big thing here is we will go in and claim, brand, and optimize your directory listing on the big four. Okay? We'll make sure we've got you set up in Google and Bing, Facebook, and Foursquare. And these are your most popular accounts. And this is where you're going to get most, most visibility and where you really don't want to mess this one up. So it's, it's, we can handle all of that for you because this is what we've been doing for years. Then we've got additional business directories that we will claim and optimize for you. Okay? Normally this goes for $2,500. We wanted to offer a show special. If you're interested in having us set up this distribution channel for you, we'll go in and our graphic design team will create a nice universal branding theme across all your major channels. All these accounts will be set up under one email address, so this literally becomes your company's publishing platform. So whenever you have a piece of content, you've got a place to put it and, and flow it through. Even though if you're not there now, at least get your asset developed. So when you are getting good content, you've got a pipeline to drop it into. And so we will set up, it's almost 50 accounts. It's all the big players. We'll also include a strategy session with you, okay? You're gonna do it yourself, okay? Here's where you are. Here's where I think you should go. So we will sit down with you for an hour and give you a strategy session on how you can utilize this if you wanna do it yourself, okay? And then as a bonus, for the first five people that stop by and see Kara and fill out the form, we will also include a free one minute video about your company. So you'll get your distribution channel set up. We'll create a show piece, piece of content, video content, 45 seconds to a minute about your company. You'll have your distribution network set up. You'll have a showcase company video all for $19.97. And for the first five people, we'll throw on the video as part of that package. So you got your big five, and then here are all the, all the accounts. For those of you that are online at live stream, okay, you can participate in this offer as well. You just go to accessgmo.com forward slash optimize me, and you can opt in and get part of that first five uh, promotion as well. The important thing that I want to leave you with is now is the time to engage. Do not sit on the sidelines any longer. Either figure it out yourself with somebody on your team or hire somebody like us or somebody that you're comfortable with that understands this and outsource it. But you have to engage if you want to get higher visibility online and start getting more leads. The clients that we've worked with for the last four years, they're, they're crushing it right now because they were building content four years ago. And that just continues to grow and grow and grow. It's like seeds in the field that just can continue to harvest. So we can help you with all of it. Search engine optimization, video marketing, um, reputation management, pay-per-click, anything and everything that you're going to utilize. If those of you that do not want to set up a cont uh, content distribution network, you can just go to accessgmo.com forward slash ISSA 2014. Maybe you want to talk about a video shoot for a day. I come in for a day, we do a video shoot, get capture days, uh, 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 basically in a day I could capture a year's worth of content. Get all that documented and then we start a drip feed. Maybe that's of interest to you. So you can go to ISSA 2014, sign up for that, and uh, I would love to help you out. I don't know if we have time for questions. No time for questions. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I hope you learned something, and uh, we'll talk soon. Thank you.